Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost here with you today, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to get a better connection with your Wi-Fi, and also you might even get like a longer connection and better stability. First off, if you log in your router, pretty easy. Just go to your router, and you should be able to just it should be on the side unless you change this when you set up your router, it should still be the same. Just follow the uh, instructions on the side, or if it's an aftermarket router not bought from your um, supplier who supplies you internet, you're gonna wanna get yourself, uh, open up the box, and it should have a little card, and it should have all your login. You can always try admin and then password admin, or you can try admin with four zeros as the password, little things like that. Anyways. Once you follow the instructions, for me, I just have to go to my IP address, which was pretty easy. Once I'm into it, all I do is I go to wireless settings. Once I go to wireless settings, I'm gonna go to advanced settings. This gives me more of a breakdown. It allows me to choose my channel bandwidth, and it allows me to choose a couple other things. I'm gonna leave mine as 80 for right now. That's another thing you can always change and fool around with if you really want to. And then you'll have like control channel, as you can see mine is empty right now but it'll say channel. Right now it's on an auto. What you can do is you can actually select a channel. Now there's reasons why I'm showing this. I know it's going to sound like rocket science but I'm showing this so that way we can set up our app. You're going to note the different numbers that you see here because next thing you're going to want to do is get your cell phone. Sorry just putting in my password. And once we get into here we can actually go to, this app is actually called Wi-Fi Analyzer. You can just grab it, it's free. Press settings, and then you can press available channels for 5G. And you can actually check off the ones that you get. So that way, it's gonna check those channel ranges. So you can see I have 44, 48 selected. And then you can go all the way for like 149 I have selected, 153, 157, as you can see. Then for the 2.4, to do this on 2.4 is quite easy. You just click on 2.4, and then you will select here again channel, and you're just gonna, you can either press auto detect, which I, it's probably set on, and I would not suggest you select, but you can go through here, and you can see the different channels that are available, and again, we're just gonna go into the settings for 2.4, and we're gonna select it. Usually 12, 13, 14 are selected. Unless you have a really high-end router, you probably won't have those. Uh, so, I'm just gonna leave that just like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is go back into that app since I just closed it on myself. It's really easy to do with this. I'm gonna press back on here, and I'm gonna select different diagrams. Now, one thing you can do is you can see is, let's go here. Tools, uh, there we go, view. You're gonna have different ones. You can have access list and it's gonna show you the different ones which are on different channels, which is good so that way if you don't have a very busy, you can see my neighborhood is ridiculous. To try and find something, I it's ridiculous. So, view. I'm gonna go with a time graph. Take a look at that. Those are my frequency bandwidths here. That shows you how many people are on which and so somewhat channels. My favorite one to use though is, sorry, app is being very slow. I think it's, well this is definitely a good one so that way you can check, but that's a signal meter so you can check your signal. This is a good one. It shows you the overlapping channel, so you can try and get on one that isn't overlapping. Again, oh, look at this. Just learn this today. I can swipe and it'll go to different ones. And I also love this one. It rates each channel with a star. Now, as you can see, if I'm upstairs here, it's saying, hey, look, channel six is the best. But if we go downstairs, let's say, just watch this. <laughs> you can see I'm already losing my ratings just because downstairs is just gonna be flooded. So now I'm in the living room, and we'll stop right here. And um, you can actually select a wireless access point. For me, I'll select Nomad for right now. But see what it's doing here? It's showing you the best, cha better channels, 36, 40, and 44. 
So it's going to tell you different channels to try out for better Wi-Fi. Now let's go down into the basement. Let me and see. What I like to do is walk around the house and see which channel is the best all around because it's going to change every time. And then of course down here it's going to tell me this signal's better down here saying oh look at channel 48. Go into the garage. And yeah, so that's what I do. And then once you get a better channel and you have it selected, I find that it's a lot better. Just This is just a little small chip tip for trying to get a little bit better Wi-Fi. The other thing, of course, is to you could always try changing your password. Um, another thing I like to do is if it just all of a sudden is acting up, you can disconnect your wireless and reconnect it. Be careful with Wi-Fi boosters. Wi-Fi boosters can actually cause uh, interference in themselves because too many things running on, say, the 2.4 can actually cause uh, its own uh, interference. So just something to keep mind of. But yeah, that's just a little thing. And like I said, once you find a channel that you think is better, go to each one, select it, press apply, leave it there. And then of course you can mess around with this if you want to try different chan widths. But right now this is what I've found to be the best except for, I'm gonna, as you can see, mine was set on channel 11, but just messing around with this, it's been changed. So make sure you try that for both 5 and 2.4, and hopefully that helps you get a little bit better internet. Let me know in the comment section if it does, and thanks again for watching. Like the video if it helped you out, and subscribe for more.